Well, Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Week three of the Top Cut Network's Retro Deck Series. Today we have a special guest. We're not going to tell you who that guest is just yet. We'd <laughs> like to see some guesses over in the chat to see if we could uh, identify who decided to come out and join the 2007 Retro Deck Series today. I'll bet it's Dan Garman. Nope, he's got to work. <laughs> <laughs> Franco, thanks for coming out all three weeks. It's been a pleasure sitting here next to you. Yeah. Um, it's also been a pleasure taking only one or two prizes from you. Oof. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, that Meganium game was, was was rough, bro. Yeah, I got to watch the the Eevee game. Didn't realize I got lone Pidgey start in yep. game one. And yeah, that was uh. <laughs> That was really rough. Yeah, the the excellent part is uh, Jeremy's been playing the the game for many 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 years and is pretty fluent in how my deck works and how Ludicolo works. So it was actually very challenging, very chess like game. Yeah, really sure. happy that uh, uh, we got to play that full game out. Uh, so far, it seems like the last game both weeks has been the best game of the week. Uh, this week, I'm happy that two of uh, two of the decks I really enjoyed playing the most um, made it into the top eight. Destiny made it. Mm -hmm. Destiny was a deck that we made. Well, Adam Maldonado actually made the original version. It actually had four Mew, four Rayquaza, and four Stantler. Dang. And he called it Smoothie King. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh, maybe because it was uh, <laughs> smooth like like ice cream but uh yeah he made it and uh he gave me the initial concept and you know i started working with it in the way that i do and it actually probably became one of the first uh what do you call them box decks where box you just decks, yep. throw in a bunch of uh miscellaneous stuff for certain matchups and the search back in that time was fantastic so we were able mm -hmm. to dig out certain cards at certain times so hitting your texts were a lot easier then than they are now yep for sure the draw wasn't as good, but the search was fantastic. So 2007 presents a, a little challenge because there's no hand disruption. Mm -hmm. um, so no more admin, no way. I don't believe there was any gust effects outside of Umbreon. Uh, no, I mean, I mean th um, there were attacks. Like, was uh, reversal? Like Rosalia. Yeah, reversal was in. R yeah, Rosalia, Flick Poison was, was a huge, mm -hmm. huge thing. Um. Hey, our special guest just got here. Oh. 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 You, can, you can grab a deck and uh, he's <laughs> playing He's playing uh, uh, Infernape, so um, not, <laughs> not, not Ambush because Ambush will, um, I mean, any of the Flygon decks will mm -hmm. compete. Yeah, I think some of the Flygon, Flygon decks will be good. Um, yeah, which one did you grab? <laughs> We, we'd like to uh, let everyone know that we put out all these videos for the uh, graded cards we got in. We got about 650 of them. Uh, head over to Top Cut Events. We migrated our entire website over there. It's got all of our regional product up on there and a um, good, good portion of our graded cards thus far. We will be populating the inventory over the next couple weeks, so please check us out over at TopCutEvents.com. Nope. Good guess. Good guess. Ross started coming here two weeks ago, and he hasn't made it yet. He's taking his time. <laughs> Slow poke. Slow poke. At this point, I think he's just crossed the state line. The diff. Ross, yeah, he's just crossing the state line. Yep. <laughs> and he started in Kenosha. <laughs> <laughs> No. No, it was only no. uh polystall that were playing fossils. So they're they're getting the uh first turn rules for two thousand and seven down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there was just no supporter. And then right. yeah. yep. and then no choice for the dice roll. Yep, no choice for the dice roll. Um you set you set up or you flip for dice. Before you set up, too, Jeremy, right? 
You flip die before you set up? It, it's after, I think. After? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, before started kind of recently. Um, after yep, you set up. After Thanks, set up. the diff. Thank you. After you set up. All right. It's good, it's good, it's good. All right, well, Here we, we go. only got one guess. It's not Ross Cawthorn. <laughs> We're going to switch over to the game, and uh, we got a good one here. We got Flyvies versus yep. Infernape. Yep. And we have the one, the only, the Xander Pero. The Xander Pero. Yep. We've mostly just been doing single games, unless the first first couple games. So, yep, here we have... Very well known player. This is probably like I think it was junior national champion in 2011. 2011 with? With Bear Hug. Bear Hug! Bear what Hug. Brew. What a great deck. Yep. I just got rid of my entire Bear Hug deck that was completely signed every card oh, by no. <laughs> a young 2011 Xander Perro. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. I'm sure I found a good home. Absolutely. It stayed in the Chicago area, too. Good stuff. Yeah, which is awesome. Sweet. So we got Jeremy Mulliganing. Um, yeah, there's only seven basics in the deck. <laughs> Four Chimchars and uh, three, three Skitties. Three Skitty. Yep. So. Delcaddy was easily one of the best support Pokemon ever printed. Mm-hmm. This card an energy card. This card an energy <laughs> card and draw three cards. Yep. Macargo clearly rotated out or it would be an infernape for sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So Could you imagine that smooth Del over? Smooth over into <laughs> into the Delcaddy draw. Oh man. Yeah, that that seems disgusting. That would be pretty good, I hear. Oh, apparently my cargo is still in format. So, oh, it's just not played. I guess it just wasn't played in that deck. Yeah, that's, that, that seems like a really good addition to the deck. So, yeah. huh. I well, remember Adam Vel, uh, Adam uh, Vernola ran mm -hmm. Infernape at Nats, and he ran a... Uh, Uh-oh. Okay, well, he's got a base, he's finally. Basic, yeah. I hope that deck runs Copycat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think, um, actually, yeah, it pairs very well, not just with Delcaddy, but also with Infernape level X Poke Power. But, right. Yep. So, Xander going first um, with the Flyvies deck. I think it's just pretty much a, um, set up a tank and just, you Yeah, know. And, and <laughs> use the evolutions to spam damage. Oh. Yep. I believe this deck runs two uh, Jolteon. Mm -hmm. Two Jolteon here. One Umbreon, one Vaporeon. Gotcha. You'll notice the Metal Eevee in there for Delta Draw. Yep. I'm going to pull up my deck list here on www.topcodevents.com. Um, we cannot play Trainers Turn 1 with the release of Diamond and Pearl. Um, huh. I it, it, In the rules, we... um. We have that you can't play a supporter, but can still do everything else. But yeah, once Diamond and Pearl was released, um, uh, you can't play trainers, uh, right? Oh, gotcha. Because it was released right before Nationals. That's when the rules changed. So the rules document has it's all right. Just let them play for now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably true. best just to leave. We're not going to rewind the entire game just for yeah one or two cards. So okay. Um. Well. Let's see what I it's got all good. here. It's all good. Um, Pokemon Retro Decks. All right. Oh, wow. Jeremy with a triple skitty off of the Hall on Mentor. Wow. He is not messing around. He is not messing around. He's got a whole thing of cats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good to, to leave the supporter up there because actually in one of the decks, um, it actually requires the old supporter rule to be in effect. <laughs> right. Um, I think it was like Delta Chimeco or something. Well, also... Uh, um, the Bennett EX 
requires you to leave it active as well. Otherwise, it would yes. count it for the attack in the discard pile. Yep, makes sense. All right, um, so what do I got here? I got Absolutions. Nope, yep. not playing that one. Flygon, EX, Legend Maker. Here we go, Flyvees. It looks like we have two Jolteon of Vaporeon. That's it. Yep. Flygon, um, Flygon. I believe Flygon EX's attack does damage uh, uh, if they have damage counters on yes. them. So it's important to lay the, the Jolteons to start spamming that damage. Vaporeon was a cool tech because it would get you down, get your opponent down to four cards yeah. in the most inopportune time. Yep, exactly. So I think that was the only form of hand disruption. As we see, we already have Jolteon. Oh man, and Xander copycatting for three. Not ideal, but I mean, if he doesn't really have anything else on hand, uh, it's not really much he can do about that. <laughs> Infernape was a fairly straightforward deck. Ran a lot of four ofs, you know, four candies. Ran yep. three Windstorm, three Warpoint. Yep. Three plus power, four Transceiver. You know, the typical Holon engine. It did run a Lass and a Farmer, which was important. Also runs oh, four yes. doubles. Energy is typically not an issue with this deck due to Infernape level X's, level X attack, mm -hmm. and Delcati EX upstream. Both of those were. Oh no. Both of those were key in keeping energy flowing throughout the deck. Yep. Uh oh. All right. Looks like we got a new Tyranitar. Yep. Team Rocket Tyranitar, sand damage. Yep. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Xander really has much going on here. If Jeremy can pop off and knock out this Flygon, Xander will be in a world of hurt. However... Um, uh oh He did draw the Celio, so he can start drawing with Delcaddy. Yep. However, Jeremy needs a lot of cards in order to He can, he can actually get them here, though. He could. He could. If he gets lucky off of this draw... Um, Jeremy last turn actually wisely holding the basic fire energy in his hand so that he can have that available for Delcaddy. Oh man, he already has a double rainbow. If he can get rare candy and fur and Oh man. One. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh man. Almost had it. That oh. was that was scary, honestly. <laughs> like That was so close. That was so close. I I think here um it's just best to hold the fire again so that he can uh uh yep tell caddy I don't know. so that sand damage is adding up very quickly oh yes very much so uh oh oh xander uh -oh. there with the transceiver he's nope. able to uh can't be scientists uh he can't use scientists oh what was the text under there uh, it just copies the amount of cards in uh, Jeremy's hand. Mm -hmm. So Xander has, I believe, four cards, so he would only net uh, two. Yes. So he'd probably want a mentor here. Mm -hmm. Mentor for cast form. Uh, yeah, for and sure. Eevee and... Uh, it depends on if he has the energy or not. He can get mm -hmm. a trap inch and a cast form and an, and an Eevee, and then Delta draw for three. Yep. So that would kind of get him going. Yeah, for sure. But he has to have energy in hand to retreat the flag on. Yes. Um, he could, off of the Mentor, um, get a Magneton. Um, so, or For energy? Not, not, well, that not, would give not Magneton, him... the uh, Magnemite or Voltorb. Right, that would give him one less. Yeah, it would give him one less. But if he doesn't have the energy, then it is potentially... So it depends. Does he just want to stay aggressive and keep the flag on out there and hope Jeremy doesn't hit with, uh, with mm -hmm. Delcaddy? Or does he want to set up here? Yeah, it's a it's definitely a tough choice. Um, knowing Jeremy's hands, I think Xander would be good in um, uh, setting up. But of course, Xander doesn't know. You know, Xander could also take the Spiro. Oh yes, and then. Um, yeah, he could take the Eevee. Yes. Well, he should take an Eevee for sure, because if he <clears> does <throat> decide to leave the flag on EX active. He could just drop a Jolty on the following turn and clear the bench except for Delcaddy. Mm. Yep. Definitely. So let's see what he goes for the third Pokemon. He it looks like he didn't have an energy, so he opts for the Spearow. So he he's actually just going to be um Safe here. 
Yeah, he's going to be safe and be drawing for one with uh, Delta Draw then. Well, he may not be able to draw for one if he can't get that Flygon out of there. Because he can't uh, attach yes. to both. That's right. He also may just <clears throat> attach the cast form to Flygon. Yep, he might. I think here I would probably like... Uh, Ooh, yeah, that's seeing, odd. seeing the uh, Voltorb. Um, so it looks like Xander is actually opting to go for the uh, Agro Jolteon route. Yeah, I don't understand that play. Maybe attaching the cast form to Flygon would have been the better play with no real threat of Rickety. Rickety. Oh, no Rickety. Well, he can get another Del Caddy. Oh, but no basic fire. He doesn't need it. Delcaddy's any energy card. Oh right. Well, um, does does he Jeremy have a way the to double. retreat? Um, well, no. He's still. I, I, my suggestion would be to grab another mm -hmm. Delcaddy mm -hmm. and try and draw in into the rare candy for the active. Ah uh, yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Delcaddy is not just basic energies. Right. Yep, that's right. That's right. Jeremy playing adventurer. Um, so I think he's trying to just go straight for there's, the rare candies. Del Caddy. Yep. Gets a Del Caddy. Good stuff. Um, I don't know about discarding the 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 la the hall on last there. Honestly, it's it's very important to refill hand right. with energies. Well, you got transceivers to dig it back out. Yeah. So it actually gives you a better. I'm gonna scratch for ten. Oh. And Jeremy scratches for ten. Yeah, I don't think he realized he could have discarded the double. Yeah. Oh man, if if Xander can come in and knock out this Chimchar, Jeremy will be in a whole lot of trouble. This, this... Infernape deck is usually fast. So. Yeah, this is why I was telling you that the. Uh... The cast form on the Flygon probably would have been the better play here. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Because now Xander has to find both a switching... Or now has to find a switching card. Um, yeah, yeah, like even if um, Jeremy did get a Rare Cane Infernape on, uh, the, the Flygon would have just been able to attack uh, this turn. And with the accumulated damage would actually just knock out the Infernape. Oh, Xander plays another transceiver. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he picked up his discard pile. Oh, call <laughs> somebody, call a judge. <laughs> so, so was it really that way? Like if it you... was absolutely that way. Oh man, you look at your discard. You had even, to. And you had. To you had to it. choose discard or deck. Wow. You could not go through your discard after playing transceiver and then go through your deck. Wow. That that must have led to a lot of. Uh... No, nah, I mean, <laughs> you know, it, it's like any other time in the game. Whenever, whenever it happens once, it resonates throughout the entire building. Everyone knows about it immediately. Some people say, <laughs> "Oh, he got screwed," and other people are like, "No, read the card." <laughs> you yeah. know, and so there was really no right or wrong. But let me tell you, once that once that was penalized one time, everyone knew the rule immediately. Yep, <laughs> there were no secrets. Xander is in firm control of this game. Jeremy not hitting those rare candies is making it extremely difficult for him to keep up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep, things are looking very rough right now. So, Xander discarding the Vaporeon EX off of uh, for the Han Mentor. Yeah, if Xander would have attached that energy, he pretty much could have ended the game with that Absol EX here. Yep. Um, does Chimchar have 50 or 60 HP? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because he can uh, take it off of the Delcaddy with 4. Right. So. Yeah, all those Diamond and Pearl Pokemon were so tough with the change in weakness. Mm hmm. Yeah, especially with like uh, the scale of the attacks too, I believe. Right. Less energy, higher damage, all that S stuff. Okay. Yep, and uh, Xana uses Absol EX to 
Um, move three damage. Move three damage. damage. Yep. In this case, it was only two, but it was super effective. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, you um, you're right, Jimmy. I think if I remember correctly, Del Kenny only has like uh, seventy hit points. Seventy hit points. Yep. So that means that uh, Xander could have knocked out this active Del Caddy. But look at how many cards are in Jeremy's hand. Yeah. I mean, if he has another Chimchar and Rare Candy. Well, he might be able to get an Infernape out here if he has yeah. Rare Candy in his hand. It looks like he does, I think. I, I think I saw a glimpse of a Rare Candy. The issue here is that Del Caddy is one to retreat. So again, unless he's sitting on a war point. Mm-hmm. Um, it may be too little too late. I don't know how many energies are in his discard pile. Yeah, um, I think that there are two or three fires in there. He really needs to hit that transceiver oh. mm -hmm. to farmer those chimchars back. Yes, for sure. So This Infernape deck can set up out of nowhere. There are four, four fires. Four fire energies in there. Yep. Rare can There's the old rare candy rule. Yeah. There's the rule that made stage twos playable. Right. Uh, for Saint David, do I have to have damage on me already? No, it's just all basic. Yep. So the question was: Does sand damage hit uh, anyone, or do you have to have damage counters on it already? And sand damage hits any basics on the bench, mm -hmm. on your opponent's bench. Yep. So here, I think I would like to see the attach of double rainbow. Um, I, I think Jeremy's trying to play around um, Xander using uh, uh, Vaporian EX's puzzle power. I don't. I, I seriously do not think Jeremy's aware you can discard a double to draw for Del Kenny. Yeah, I I don't think so. Doesn't doesn't look like it. Yeah, he could have continued drawing with those Del Kettys, dropping those doubles. Perhaps the the issue is uh, perhaps the issue is he can't get to Delcat EX to upstream the energies back. But I'm pretty sure that's only basic energy, anyhow. Yeah, I think Delcat shuffles in all energies, but for the discard effect of um, Delcat's Poker Power. Um, Let's see here. Infernape does to run two war points, this one specifically. Yep. So if Jeremy had that in hand, he would have been able to, I think, quite possibly knock something out. Yeah, he only has three Skitty, and he evolved. One one died to sand damage. Yep, so... And he evolved the other two into this, so he really needs to hit he the needs farmer. He to hit the farmer, yep, for sure. This is going to oh. go downhill very quickly here. You know, yeah. Inf Infernape only doing 90 damage max. And with him not discarding the doubles for uh, Del Caddy's draw, mm -hmm. that's less energy cards in the discard pile Yes. to try and upstream or use Infernape level X's attack. Yes. Um, actually, I think um, Infernape Level X's attack only works with basic fires. Basic fire. Yep. It has to have eight, if I'm yep. not mistaken. Yep. Yep. So. There we are. Burning Head. Once you're in your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose one of them, put it into your hand, discard the other two cards. Well, yep. that could assist in uh, discarding some basic fire, huh? Yeah. Search your discard <laughs> up to eight fire energy. Currently has four in the discard pile. Yep. Show them to your opponent and shuffle them into your deck for 150. Well, there's your flag on counter, but you got to be able to. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to discard those energies. Yeah, for sure. And um, knowing actually. Um, All right, I think Jeremy's going to get an attack things. off Ooh. for 80 because. There we go. Oh, can he meteor punch his way? Oh man, if he gets a meteor punch. Uh, that would be so great. <laughs> oh man. Oh, come on, do it for the lulls. 
I love that it. would be insane, honestly. Oh my goodness, he would have to have five heads. <laughs> well, 13 minus 10, yeah, 30. Yeah. 30 I, times 4 is 120. Minus 10. Minus 10, <laughs> yes, he would be fi <laughs> five. Heads. I have confidence. <laughs> I have full confidence that he can pull this off. Have you seen Jeremy flip a coin lately? No, I have not. He is incredible. <laughs> oh, here we go. Man, that Flygon is just wrecking havoc. It is, yes. Definitely. Yeah, it's this is this is rough, honestly. Yeah, Jeremy's draws if, have just been mediocre at best. Yep. Like if if only Jeremy had enough fires in the discard, he would have just been able to blow up this Flygon. So this um, Infernape level X artwork actually gave my kids nightmares. <laughs> Really? <laughs> That's why they had to come out with the softer one in the tins that year. That's so <laughs> Because funny. it was ruining kids' sleep everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. I believe it. That Just just imagine you're a little kid and that's your window. <laughs> and you oh see goodness. this big fire red monkey coming through your window. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, that's definitely pretty what face. Flare up oh, for a one. Wait, wait. Does he have eight? Two, three, four, five. You need eight. You need eight. Oh, no. I do have to have eight. Okay. Yep. Otherwise, it does nothing. All right. So we'll rewind. So, we'll, so let's rewind there. We'll be kind and rewind. Yep. Yeah. I think he could do 80. I think he would have to do 80. Or he could meteor punch. Meteor punch is clearly the way to go <laughs> here. Clearly the way to go. Uh, let me backtrack myself yeah. a little bit, I guess. All right, we're going to be kind and rewind. Yep. I think I'm just going to give you the Monferno. So Jeremy retreating to preserve the Infernape Level Patch X. Fire. Patch fire. That'll get him to six in his discard 30. pile. Put a fire on the 30. Ooh, he'd still be 10 short, but uh, Infernape runs plus power. So. Yes. And um, this, these are the plus powers that went back into the deck or did they start getting discarded at diamond and pearl um so so you attach it to the pokemon as if it was a tool right and then so like for example if 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 oxy goes to the bottom then the plus powers go with it right so. but with diamond and pearl release is that mm -hmm. something that stopped at that point yeah i think that was the last time it was it was there because once it started being printed in black and white plus power was it just applies hello hello oh, dax hello, ptcg dax. Sweet. Glad to see you're here. That can't be that can't be Daniel Altavia after he sick barb on me this morning. <laughs> Got him. Oh, uh, that's so fantastic. Yeah. All Mike right. WWM98. This is absolutely live. Absolutely yep. live. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Does Jeremy try and get the transceiver or for the plus power? Does the plus power matter in this situation? Well, he needs to knock this flag on out or it's going to run rough shot over him. Mm -hmm. um, currently, Jeremy's not, or uh, Xander's not showing anything that can respond to that infernape, so that thing can go like the energy bunny here. Yep. The issue is Absol sitting on the bench, so if he if Xander attacks with the Absol, he can kill the Delcaddy. Oh yeah, and he only has one prize left, so right. that's just that's it. Yeah, Absol's attack does thirty Take plus this. ten to ten to your bench that has it's damage, 30. pretty sure. Ooh, he got rid of the Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. All right. No. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, actually, what something what something Jeremy could have done here was from oh he well no he could have promoted the Del Caddy, and then gotten the last, possibly gotten a fire from, from top, and then uh, retreat the Del Caddy, yeah. but uh, he he didn't you know something really else know. too. I I think Jeremy believes. <clears throat> hey Dan, 
I, I think Jeremy believes he can only attack with the level X, not realizing he can use the attacks underneath. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that, 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 that seems logical. Things. Yeah. Because that Flygon couldn't have knocked out Infernape last turn. Mm -hmm. So you just go two for one here. Right. But uh, he decided to attack with the Monferno. That's why he's trying so hard to get eight energy in the discard pile. Yep. I'm pretty positive that Jeremy's belief is that he can only attack with the level X. Uh, and not utilize possibly. the attacks underneath. Yeah. It's definitely possible. I would probably um, intervene here and let Jeremy know if the game were a little closer. Mm -hmm. But uh, that Absol is just primed to kill the Delketti, so... Yeah, Xander just has a dark energy. He doesn't even need it. He has the cast form in hand. Oh, yeah, has cast form in hand. Yeah. Yep. Jeremy took two prizes. That's two more than I took all of last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's pretty rough. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, or Xander could just... Oh, jump. Xander could just evolve into <laughs> evolve Jolteon. Jolteon. Yep. I, I would have attacked with the uh, Absol just for style points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll attach the cast form to Absol EX and win. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. No yeah, Jeremy's <laughs> bad draws early game just uh, really did him in. Yep. Uh, the inability to hit rare candy when he had like 13 cards in hand was that just was absolutely awful. Mm -hmm. So but now... We got we got Jeremy with no headphones here, so we're gonna we're gonna ask him a couple questions. So Jeremy, yep. you know that when you level up, you can use the attacks underneath still. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I, I, I was unaware of just like how much he could put in play on a turn so quickly. Yeah, sure, okay, and then, um, uh. Did you did you uh, know that you could discard the uh, double rainbows as well with Delcaddy? No. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't have to be basic it's energy. Just, it just has energy. It doesn't have to be basic. Yeah. We were wondering because you probably could have hit a rare candy a little sooner. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Losing the last skinny so early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You had to hit yeah. Farmer there, too. The so farmer for was sure. Oh, uh, that was awful. Oh, okay. Man. Yeah, so right. losing that skitty, losing that early skitty took away the Delcaddy EX upstream attack as well. Yeah, Delcaddy EX really synergizes well. well it is pretty deck. pretty good, yeah, like for especially, sure. Especially late game. <laughs> well, that was uh, game number one. We're going to do six yep. games today. Um, I don't know who's going to be up next, nor who's commentated. There's six of us here today. So we'll get through all six matches. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll be back shortly for round two. Yep. Thank you. Thanks.